What's going on everyone? It's time again for project review, and I have some sweet projects to review today. I have a chess game review, snake game, Tetris, and a tic-tac-toe game to review. As you can see, it's four games, and they're all in Python. Let's get to it. The first one I'm going to review is the snake game, which was sent in by Rodrigo S. This project uses Python and tkinter for the GUI stuff. What I found particularly cool about this project is that the author was able to get it done in 49 lines of code. Let's have a look and see how it works. All right, so we got that. Move it around. All right, tail gets longer. Sweet. I'm not sure if it actually gets any faster, but yeah, I don't think it gets any faster, but still a cool game nonetheless. And I think when I run into the wall, it just kind of stops moving. So that's the snake game. Pretty cool. Like I said before, the really cool thing about this project is you got it done in 49 lines of code. And on that fact alone, it's an A plus from me. The next one is Tic-Tac-Toe, which was sent in by JS. The whole project is just plain old Python. It doesn't even so much as import any modules. Or more specifically, the original code doesn't import any modules. I made one change, which makes it so every time the board comes up, it clears the screen first. But his original code didn't have that. That was just one small improvement I made. So let's check it out. Okay, so we got the board. Press 1 to play. Okay, player 1's turn. Row 1, column 2. Puts an X in there. So I'll do row 2, column 2. Puts an O. Row 1, column 1. We'll do like row 3, column 1. And then, so I'll just win the game now. Row 1, column 3. And that says I win. That's pretty cool. I'm thinking next step, this should be multiplayer. That would be sweet. Anyway, it runs good. It's the first tic-tac-toe game anybody ever sent me, so with that alone, it's definitely an A plus for me. The next one is a Tetris game, which was sent in by Nicholas B. This one is made using Python and Pygame. So let's have a go at it. All right, there we go. So I can make it go faster. All right, checking out my Tetris skills. Okay, I'll drop that. Oh, can switch them over. Nice. I'm not sure if the score works. I want to try to clear one line just to make sure the score works. Yep, score works. One line and score 40. Pretty cool. And it goes faster when you when you hold the down arrow. Pretty cool. I could play this all day. Well, it looks and functions like a legitimate Tetris game. I, I don't know what more I could ask for. So for me, it's it's obviously an A+. And finally, I saved the best for last, but it's chess. And this was sent in by Bennett M. I was absolutely blown away by this project because it's not just any chess. It's terminal chess. So basically on this game, you choose a column in a row, and then you can move the pieces to wherever you want to move them. And while this is cool in itself, what I noticed was, when I ran it, it said how many players for this game. And it has an option for zero. So if you do zero, it says, oh, there's an AI. Awesome. The author made an AI. At what speed would you like the AI to play? And you could pick either slow enough to watch the game or full speed ahead. Well, let's do full speed ahead. And away it goes. It's actually simulating AI versus AI playing chess. And... I thought this was just super cool. So after a little while, I, I ran it once before, about another five or ten seconds, and it should finish. Yeah, Black wins. So that was a simulated game, and that was great. So not only does it work, but it has single player, it has multiplayer, or it has just two AIs going at it. Now, as you can imagine, chess on its own is a very complex thing to program, but terminal chess... That's some next level stuff. So needless to say, this is an absolute A plus from me. In fact, if there was a such thing as A plus plus, that's what this would be. And that's it for project review. All four of these projects are available. If a GitHub link was provided, I've put it in the description. Otherwise, you can find the code in the Engineer Man YouTube repo. If you want to see your project on project review, send me an email at codereview at engineerman.org. Again, that's code review at engineerman.org, and I'll put a link in the description.
So get those projects ready and just blow my mind with them. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the project, and I will see you on the next video.